Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Fickers. Our screw gun weighs 1.190 kg. Thanks to the laws of physics, we can make it such that it weighs several times less. What we used to call rollers is actually called an angle pulley. With the help of these pieces, you can reduce the weight of any object by several times or maybe even 10 times, depending on the number of these angle pulleys. To lift our screw gun, you need to apply a force equal to the body weight. That is the weight of the screw gun, which is 1.190 kg. To conduct the first experiment, we made such a construction. Now we'll see how much the weight of our screw gun is reduced with the help of one roller. How much do you think the weight will decrease? I think it will weight about 700 grams, considering that through one roll there should be two times less weight, somewhere 700 grams. So the bet is accepted. Write your opinion in the comments. Okay, let's see. We're waiting for the weight to be fixed. How much? 810 grams. So it has become lighter by almost 300 grams, even almost 400 grams. Yeah, this is really cool because the main purpose of this experiment is to lift a person with one hand. Guys, it has become much easier. You can feel it. I want to screw two more rollers and see how it will be with four. It's time to experiment with harder things. Let's start with this brick. I don't know how much this brick weighs, but it's definitely several times higher than the screw gun. It's impossible to lift it with one finger. Now we'll find out how much it weighs if we lift it with the help of an angle pulley. Guys, look, I'm lifting it up with one finger. I'm lifting the brick with one finger. So we have fixed six rollers. Now let's stretch the rope. It's time to experiment with helium balloons. And now, dear friends, we are inflating. We are inflating the balloons. By the way, have you seen the video in which we launch an iPhone with a camera on such balloons? We barely turned the iPhone back. There was some George's footage. Be sure to check it out. It was really cool. You will like the shoots. This is a unique technology, the modern trainer for your fingers. You can adjust the pressure force with these wheels by selecting the rope from here, from here and from here. This increases the pressure on your fingers by 10%, more or less like this. First we tied a mug to our balloons. Write in the comments how do you think these balloons will be able to lift this little mug. One, two, three. No. Who couldn't guess it, don't be discouraged. Sergei also hoped that they would raise it, but I immediately said that they wouldn't. Impossible. And now we'll pass this green rope through these rollers and see if these balloons can lift this mug using this construction. So, drum rolling. Wow, how is it possible? I had a bad grade in physics at school, I don't understand anything and probably I won't understand. We thought for a long time why the mug didn't raise to the end, it turned out that the balloons just hit the ceiling. So we showed the experiment in miniature and now let's move to a larger experiment and lift me up. Or maybe a dog. Hey, will you participate in the experiment? With your physical abilities, you won't even lift me with rollers. Let's see. It's not because I'm fat, but because you're weak. No, you are fat. One of our friends sent us a package, he knew that we are going to shoot such a video and said try to do something with it. Here there is a kind of harness to all toy figures, there are also a lot of carbines, ropes, we will now try to figure it out. Do you think we can do it? Of course we can, when we didn't succeed. By the way, we used this metal cube for our experiment. If you remember in which video it was, then write in the comments. There are several types of chain hoist, depending on how many rollers are attached there at the top. And the tension is from top to bottom or from bottom to top. We chose this middle option, which is as simple as possible, because the rest are attached to the angle pulley, and there are several rope grooves at once. We don't have that, so we'll work according to this scheme. We all may feel sorry for Fikas if the experiment goes wrong, so I decided to put mattresses for him. Well, I'm good to go. Come on, lift me up. Do you think it's some kind of attraction? Dog on the lash. Done. Well, the weight of Fika is 70 killers. If you lift him using this system, then the weight should be 23 killers. I think I can lift 23 killers. Let's try. Ready? I don't know. 
We take your feet away. Where to put them? It turns out that you're helping me. Basically, it's a very cool experiment, but we don't have enough height. So Sergey fixed the rope up there. Now we'll attach the roller a little higher and lift me up here. Well, I'm ready to be lifted. I see you are ready. So guys, do you believe in us? Let's do it then. Why am I getting lift with my ass up? Hey, something is wrong. <laughs> Damn, it's so funny as you are some kind of semi spider man. Twirl me around. How do you feel in a zero gravity? I feel like a flying squirrel. That's funny. What are you doing here? I'm hanging. You just went out to hand. Yes, the most convenient and cool thing in the system is that I can lower and raise myself. You see, if you have enough strength, of course. So you can swim with it. The funniest thing is that not someone can lift me with one hand, but I can lift myself. <laughs> cool, it's not difficult, right? As easy as ABC. Guys, we only let the rope pass through three rollers, but what if we let it pass through five, seven or ten rollers? I think that if rope is passed through 50 or 100 rollers, then three balloons can lift a person. Write in the comments what do you think and hit the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so as not to miss the new videos. See you next Sunday. Bye! Blah, blah.